Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing an in-depth hero guide for pretty much every hero. Uh, the only one I'm not going to be including is Bubble Fett. Because I don't blow him. So with boss right here, the optimal setup is either with um, multi-traps, trap arming speed, and name your poison. Or you can switch out trap arming speed for your spreading the disease. And the way you want to play them is what you want to do is try and stick with some teammates and just go all out with your abilities. If you're new by anyone and you don't have abilities, your best bet is to um, use your dodging and your jumping to your advantage because he can always recover everything. So you want to stay alive for as long as you can without teammates. If you're in a 1v1 situation. And then Galactic Assault. He's pretty easy to use or Supremacy. Um, I would definitely recommend going with the Spreading the Disease over Chap Armor Speed in that game mode. Someone's Supremacy or something. You want to use your Deoxys and on a command post and then you can go all out on any other command post and just keep using the oxys on any command post you want. Chewbacca isn't really good for those cheaper modes um, but if you are going to go in a trooper mode instead of using a multi shock and bonus health I prefer with echoing roar and furious resilience and always make sure to run impervious. Um, in hero modes he's a beast though he can pretty much one shot anyone with er, with a one-shot combo and try and stay next to a saber teammate because you literally can't die if you're in that situation with vader on cheaper modes uh for hero modes i run this card setup but for cheaper modes i would recommend taking off bonus health again uh and put on surrounded by fear as well as putting on uh, either Deflection Stamina or Last Gasp and replace of Punishing Grip. Palpatine is a really good character in pretty much every mode you go into. Alright, <laughs> Vader, um, gameplay wise. Sorry. Uh, for gameplay, I would recommend just... Make sure you don't get into too bad of a situation like a 1v3 for hero modes. For super modes, one command post at a time for supremacy and for galactic assault always go after the objective once you start getting around that like 500 hp mark 400 hp mark back off let your health regen go back in there palpatine always use lightning reach and i like to use growing darkness as well as in full control for hero modes but in cheaper modes run um show no mercy and surge of lightning on top of lightning reach for cheaper modes, a uh, really good way to use them is do a little bit of damage and then use your L1 ability. Boom, you kill pretty much everyone in a uh, 5 mile radius or whatever. <laughs> and for hero modes, you it is important that you have at least one person nearby. But you can survive in a lot of different situations because of his forward dodge, which is incredible. With Han, always run Air Burst, Smuggler's Woods, and Heavily Modified Blaster. If I were to run something other than Heavily Modified Blaster, it would be either Keep Your Head Cool or uh, sh Sharpshooter Frenzy, or Sharpshooting Frenzy. And with Hero Modes, you don't really need to stay by many people, but... Well, don't go charging head on into a situation. Let them come. To, let enemies come to you, and just keep shooting at them before they get to you. And use your dodges wisely. You have a lot of them. For cheaper modes, use that detonite charge in a clouded room, and snipe them. As long as you have good enough aim, you can kill pretty much anyone in cheaper modes. Iden is. I prefer in hero modes, but use acquiring targets, alternative methods, and droid batteries. That goes for every mode. Um, for cheap, 
for two modes instead of what you do in hero modes just like that's pretty much the same thing as Han except you have a shock and it's really powerful you can insta kill anyone and you stay next to a saber demon always always but for trooper modes um the alt fire and the pulse cannon can be really useful uh, as well as if you're going into a room with a lot of people, I would recommend going in there with a uh, Saber Hero Demon. Kylo Ren, he's really versatile. You can use a lot of his cards and hero modes. Um, these are, every single card I have unlocked are cards that can be useful. Uh, and hero modes would only go with Power Reach, but you can go with Resilient, Solid Freeze, Harsh Pull, or Closing In. I really only go Berserk and Tantrum and Showdown for duels and in H er, in cheaper modes try and run uh, yeah I would still run this same setup I have right here unless I want to replace power reach for closing in Lando is not the most easy character to master but I would run, recommend hot and cold uh, quick shock and wide eyed for your card setup if you want to replace one of those, I would replace Wide Eyed for Buckle Up Baby. In hero modes, just try not to get into a situation where you're having to get 1v3'd or 1v4'd. In a situation where you're nearby a blaster teammate, you can light up pretty much anyone. And always go for headshots. Always. Leia. Alright. And with cheaper modes, just sharp shot. <laughs> pretty much and let your disabler stay around until you find uh, enemies because that way you have full mini up for everyone in game for Leia these are the cards I recommend try not to use stay together too much um, spray and fours if you ever try to do those and that's a really good setup right there you can also use your thermal detonator cards and if you're being annoying and glad to get sold laser brain because that Alt fire locks on to people for so far away and insta kills uh normal troopers. For HPV, try to stay nearby your teammates as much as you can because if you do, you can line up anyone with rapid fire and your default fire. And thermal detonators come in really useful for finishing off people or um, just like a group of enemies. Same thing goes for cheaper modes. Stay next to your teammates. And try not to plop your shield around in HVV, especially against the Palpatine. Because Palpatines go th right through the shield. Luke is a very offensive character. These are the three cards I use most of the time. Other cards that are useful are Extended Push Reach and Rush Immunity. I don't really recommend any other cards. But they would re likely replace Jedi Fighter. Epis intensifies something that you must keep on at all times. It's incredible how much damage you can deal. Uh, for HVV, be an offensive player, but not too offensive to where you're getting in those 1v3, 1v4 situations. You don't need teammates nearby you, but it's always nice to have a Han or something around. And with the Anakin around, you can pretty much 2v4, depending on the uh, teammate and the enemy scenario with cheaper modes I would recommend trying to get that intensify stacked up go after a single trooper single trooper and then you start taking on more and more and you can kill pretty much everyone Darth Maul another offensive character I definitely recommend this setup Fool me once only is a one second increase on your cooldowns. Um, unrolled grip can be useful. I replace flow motion when I put on unrolled grip. <coughs> Lightsaber defense is incredible because it gives you a 60% damage reduction during spin attack. For HVV, um, try and pick people off. Help your teammates by picking them by picking people off. Get them out of the equation. So like blasters, you, if you're efficient enough at handling blasters, you can kill them easily. 
and make sure your teammates don't have to deal with them. With trooper modes, um, just go after people over and over and over. Doesn't have to be the same ones, <clears throat> but try and do it in a fast manner because he doesn't have the largest health pool, but he is extremely versatile and um, speedy of character. For Ray, balance, damaging strike, and focus sight are what I use. Pretty much every card can be useful, especially Farsight and Galactic Assault. So with her, you want to run Insight a lot in cheaper modes, such as Galactic Assault, because it makes everyone know where the enemy is. Dash Strike is another really useful move, because you can insta-kill some heroes. Like one time I did a double parry on Maul, and then Dash Strike, he just insta-killed. Um... With a mind trick that inverts the opponent's controls, you can use that in HV. It's a lot more useful there. But if you want to rush into a group of enemies in trooper modes, I would recommend doing that before you go after them. With Yoda, um, for HV, I recommend oppose on the dark side, feel the force, and shed a mentor. If you want to replace one for trooper modes, I would recommend replacing that for Unleashed. I never run agility or lightsaber mastery. Size matters not is also another good card. Uh, but for hero modes, he's really effective. You stay near your teammates. Try and stay near a blaster because that way you can get a lot of damage off on whoever's targeting the blaster. You can heal them. And his knockdown is really good. Especially if you charge it up with Finn. He's a team based ca guy. I recommend in charge, uh, Beacon of Hope, and one resistance. And um, in cheaper modes, try and make sure you're taking advantage of the in charge ability. Or in charge card. That way you can get a whole bunch of damage reduction during your undercover team. And big deal is one of the best abilities in the game, if not the best, because it can give your teammates 40% damage reduction and extra health. So stay near your teammates at all times of it. With Phasma and uh, hero modes, I go with the more the better, safety first, and not hard enough. Um. Stay near a uh, saber hero. That way, they can help you out if you have to deal with a one v three or something. And use your dodges wisely while near the turret. Always stay near the turret because that's how you see. It. That's how you can get the most out of phasma. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, but for trooper modes, put your turret on either a command post or an objective. Every time, it works really well. You can take it a lot of different people, and with that, instead of running safety first, I would recommend blaster inspection. Sith trained, flesh is weak, and line up weaklings. If you don't want to run uh, le flesh is weak in HV, you can run Jedi Killer, War Momentum. They're both really good, as well as Kyle they Cheat. And hero modes you want to take out or be a damage dealer. Get in there, do a combo, um, and try and kill anyone you can. That's the main thing with Grievous. Pretty much the same thing with trooper modes. You want you want to take advantage of lineup weaklings and use that claw rush as much as you can to try and kill people. And I would always run with cowardly retreat over flesh as weak in trooper modes. Obi-Wan Kenobi. <coughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi is really good in hero modes. Not as good in um, super modes, but he can still be good. 
So run Jedi Resilience, quick and focus on forward in both modes. In hero modes, you want to make sure that you have a blaster teammate you're trying to protect. Because that way, you can deal a whole bunch of damage on anyone who gets near you. Especially if you know how to do the launch off of the force push. And with cheaper modes, defensive rush is really useful because it makes you invulnerable to blasters from the front. And try get to get out of situations once you're reaching the region amount. So like 300 HP, 400 HP, you want to get out of situations once you're at that HP amount. Count Dooku is a lot better in hero modes than Showdown. You want to run Sith Control, Finesse, and Masterful Duel List. He's good at targeting blasters if you're nearby, but if not, do not try and deal with him because is, Dooku is really good against Sabres. Try and get back damage on people whenever you can because it deals upwards of 150 damage all the way up to around almost 300 per hit. And then with cheaper modes, you want to just have sneak attacks on people. Anakin, the king of pretty much all modes. I run Tenacious, Massive Strikes, and Raw Strength normally, but in open maps I run Attraction over it, and in Showdown I run Pressure instead of either of those cards. In Super Modes, this is always a card setup I use, unless I want to use Steamroll instead of Attraction. And uh, Anakin's gameplay style. You want to. Um, I think I'm getting repetitive here, but stay with, stay with your teammate. Stay with a teammate. He is incredible with a teammate because of his damage output from his force abilities. So he can get off a combo before anyone can do anything. He is really powerful with the team. And try and use Retribution in a combo. So say you get someone in pull, Heroic Might, Retribution, they're gonna die. Oh, there's sorry. I'll see that. With my boy Sharkbait right here, I run self repairs, whirlwind, and roll together normally. And so, on the, if I'm on cheaper modes, I run spinner instead of head first or roll together. And in Heroes of Villains, what you want to do is just be damage dealer, sort of like Grievous, but be more with your team. That way, they can land a finishing blow in case you can't kill um, some enemy hero or they're ganging up on you. And with spinner, that increases the cable spin and you can kill an insane group of enemies in a troop mode. With my boy Dark Shark Bit, run full reconstruction, um, potent back to and I would also go with supercharged or faster faster. So in here's his villains, you literally cannot do anything unless you stay near your teammates. It's he's a support character. So that's what you want to do. As well as in super modes you want to do that. And if I have any time, I'll try and get a gameplay off with at least one of those players. And I'll be linking uh, some other YouTubers that have really good guides. Try and subscribe to their channels as well. I forgot I have blasters on some. Oh, I don't think so.
finish off the kill. Over there. Right. Looking it up. Dang it. Pawn. Sorry, on. Obi-Wan Kenobi proved 